Hi everyone, welcome to this EYFS activity video series, today looking at physical development. To briefly summarise, the 2021 EYFS framework features some key changes compared to its predecessor, so it's good to consider how this affects your provision. As such, it's good to keep in mind the importance of 1. Following the children's lead Even though adult-led learning provocations can be a great start, always be prepared to go with the flow and adapt based on what the children's interests are. 2. Keeping things accessible The activities and continuous provision you offer in your setting must be accessible to all the children who wish to take part. This means that some activities might need to be made more simple for some children or more risky or complex to challenge others. And finally, it's important not to lose sight of the basics. Everyday events like hand washing before lunch or tidy up time can also be a learning experience and an opportunity to build on skills even though these don't have a finished physical product. To help you get started with all of this, we've compiled activities focused on the seven different areas of learning. And as I mentioned, today we'll be focusing on the prime area of physical development. According to the framework document, gross and fine motor experiences develop incrementally throughout early childhood, starting with sensory exploration and the development of a child's strength coordination and positional awareness through tummy time, crawling and play movement with both objects and adults. By creating games and providing opportunities for play, both indoors and outdoors, adults can support children to develop their core strength, stability, balance, spatial awareness, coordination and agility. Within this area of learning, the early learning goals for when children reach the end of reception focus on gross motor skills and fine motor skills. That's why in this video, we'll be showing you activities focused on these goals. Let's get into it. First up is modeling dough. For this activity, what you'll need is flour, water, food coloring, a pinch of salt, and a bowl for mixing. Once you're set up, encourage the children to start experimenting with varying amounts of different components, finding a good balance through trial and improvement. During this time, you can discuss with them how the mixture changes and ask, based on the texture, which ingredients might be needed. This activity is a classic and is ideal for building fine motor skills. It can also be extended by introducing different tools like forks and cutters to use on the dough. Pom Pom Avalanche For this one, what you'll need is a colander, some skewers, pom poms and a couple of books. To get this activity set up, what you need to do is fill a colander with some pom poms and then gradually put skewers through to make sure that the pom-poms are trapped inside. Once you've done this, you can then turn it over to be upside down and put it on top of two books so it's raised above the table. Then the children can come in and need to take it in turns to try and remove skewers without any of the pom-poms falling to the ground. So this activity helps with children's turn-taking, social interaction and attention. And you can also ask the children what colour the pom-poms are as they fall to the ground to help them with their colour recognition and vocabulary. And finally, obstacle courses. This one's obviously a bit too tricky for me to demonstrate here in the studio, but this is a fun and challenging way for the children to build their gross motor skills and there's lots of different ways you can go about it. Setting up and completing obstacle courses also ties in nicely with the concept of risky play, which helps children to build confidence and push their boundaries, both in play but also more broadly. To expand on this, we have a couple of great articles on the family blog about risky play and adventure playgrounds, which I've linked to down below. Well, that's a wrap. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series to learn more and try out activities for the other six areas of learning. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest from family and feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any feedback or suggestions. See you next time.